I'm trying real hard not to get sad about the fact that the trip is going not quite the way we anticipated. Yay! You and that chicken. Mommy, go see mommies. Yeah, he was in the rain. specifically videotaping this when Chris is out of the car. It's not like he doesn't know where the Amelia Bedelia of traveling. Here's what else not to do. Don't lose your glasses. Like, organize your packing. I know to do this, and yet Chris watched me stuff things into a bag like it was the black hole of... I don't know, death, black hole of death. And uh, and he was like, this is why you can't find things. This is why you're, um, you can never find anything in your purse. And I was just like, because I just wanted to move on to the next destination. But within that, I totally misplaced my actual eyeglasses that I need to see. Now, granted, I brought contacts for the trip. So I am actually visually able to see things. However, that's my one pair of glasses in this world and I've called the hotel and they haven't found them um, but I think they may have fallen behind and or it's been a come up for someone in the hotel industry because they are cute and they look like Sass Sally Jesse Raphael that is super dating myself if you remember Sally Jesse Raphael give this l video a thumbs up because I hear that's what people in YouTube videos say okay cool um, don't do that Find all your things and organize your packing. Don't be like me. Okay. Wanda not tip number 493.5. Another thing to try not to do when you go to Key West is to try not to bring a hurricane with you. Now, we had checked the, with the um, weather forecast for months ahead of time. Uh, we had been assured by weather people. Noah. That, what? By Noah. By Noah who apparently is a weather person. Just kidding. What does it stand for? Uh, it's the guy who God speaks to uh, <laughs> who makes a boat. Who makes a boat. Okay. I think it's the National Organism. Oceanic Association of America. Oceanic Association of, of hot National. weather people. Um, anyway. They assured us that all the hurricanes were gone, and yet, just because we were coming, we brought one with us. Etta, who was just going to Mexico, decided to make, make a sharp turn for the Keys, and therefore, we've got a, a bit of a rainy uh, day ahead of us, and perhaps a rainy couple days, but we are going to make the most of it, as we make the most of everything, um, and start our day with coffee. I'm sure we'll end up in the hot tub a little bit, and uh, maybe we'll drive by slash tour some of the actual Key West, like, touristy spots. Like, you know, the Hemingway place? What? No, don't say no. It's not going to Hemingway place in the rain. We already went there. I mean, that drove by it, or went by it. But... I eat food next to it. It's good enough. Uh, we'll see. Um, Something will happen. But I know you'll move. So remember how I told you that TikTok made me buy eyelashes? Okay, so this is... This is a message to all you um, significant others out there. Just let's go to all women out there. Um, don't don't buy the thing on the internet because when you come to show off the thing, it doesn't even matter. I'm like, I come over and I'm like, hey baby. And he goes, what? Is it your hair? Is, is it the ring? Is it the lip ring? Like, it took him eight guesses to get to the eyelashes. And he's like, your eyelashes are already big. I, I, sorry. It's like 50 bucks. 
and I had to wait for the eyeliner to dry and I wasn't and I don't I'm not used to putting on eyelashes and there was magnetic things and <sighs> all for like eight guesses in it, for him to get to Christopher what is your excuse I still I still say that when she puts on lipstick it's a much more dramatic difference don't buy the eyelashes just buy a 99 cent lipstick at wherever 99 cent lipsticks still exist. Just go like. Just slip your face a little and get a little rouge. A little rouge for your face. That's all you need, little girls. You don't need the eyelashes. The first time that I remember losing something that mattered to me was this tiny stuffed dog that I named Squirmy during a very young time in my life. I, I had the stuffed dog from the time I was literally born and I lost it in a mall and my mom to my totally broken heart said maybe some poor child who has no toys found it and now they have a toy and through my tears I was like then why are they in a mall? Which now I understand poor people go to a mall but at the time I was like why do poor people go to a mall and that's just problematic in all the ways. But um, what I'm trying to say is I've been a loser for a long time. You'd think I'd get over it by now, but right now I'm having a real hard time with the fact that I think my glasses are officially lost. I said this already, but I've been calling the hotel and having them look and double check and triple check. And I have to call back again again tomorrow because um, there's someone still in the room and they've done a one version of a check and they're gonna do a thrurs, thoroughest check, thrurr check tomorrow. And um, I am I think I have to come to the uh, realization that I'm just without for the rest of the trip slash my life. I really like those glasses. They were very nice. Um, we've also lost one well, we've lost a lot of things. We've also lost the rest of our trip in the ocean. The ability to fly a drone because it's raining for the rest of the time. And uh, we need to find an umbrella. I'm trying real hard not to get sad about the fact that the trip is going not quite the way we anticipated. One can't snorkel during thunderstorms. This was supposed to be the warm water experience that we had been waiting for. And we chose not to do like Cancun and what have you because we wanted to bring Lucifer and let him have that warm water experience. Now he doesn't know what he's missing, so there's that, but Chris and I kind of do. Stiff upper lip and all that. You know what we decided to do? Is it right to show you that I'm frustrated? Should I just be like happy the whole time? It's hard to know. What we've decided to do is we're going out to lunch like now because obviously lunch, but um, we've decided to go out to a really nice dinner, like a nice dinner, but everything is booked up because everyone's going out to a nice dinner because the hurricane has come. And by the way, it's totally like a tropical depression right now, which tropical depression right now. Um, my husband is coming back with an umbrella. Awesome. Um, and so we're going out to a really nice dinner, but it's not till 9.30 p.m. And <laughs> Lucifer gets a ball. He has brought us a ball and an umbrella. And so we're going to spoil ourselves with dinner and we're going to go try to have something to eat right now and uh, make the best of our rainy day adventure. Ball for Lucifer. Umbrella for us. Ball. I want to buy ball. Lucifer wants to buy ball. Buy ball. First sip of tequila margarita. No, this is my first sip of the key lime margarita, specific to Key West. Let's see. I would say it's smoother. 
kind of almost premier if I were to say there was a difference. Yeah. Oh my god, the rain, babe. Yeah, it's raining a lot out there. But it's the, the temperature is nice. Yeah, I'm not a margarita fan. I don't like it's too salty for me. So I got a key lime uh, colada, which we will uh, see. Is it good? I, I win. I mean, for me. Well, let me try. <laughs> He's trying to steal my cherry. You see that? My wife tried to take my cherry. He's going to give it to me later. <laughs> wow. He will, because he's nice. She's going to take, she she take my man's cherry. <laughs> he's he's going to give it to me out of love, but he'll give it to me. If he doesn't give it to me, I'll know he ate it. <laughs> it's, a, it's a true test of our relationship. Now we'll know. Ah. <laughs> Sorry. First they're sour. Then they're sweet. Then they're sour again. <laughs> <laughs> I've stopped complaining and instead we're at a cafe and uh, this is apparently what you do when it's raining. You go to a cafe at the southernmost tip, well the southernmost cafe at the southernmost tip of the United States and you enjoy amazing drinks and hopefully amazing food in an atmosphere with a lot of roosters and chickens, which means a lot of chicken poop but that's okay, you can handle your life and uh, you make Limeade out of limes, because there's no lemons. Gluten free burger. Yeah. Happy camper. Heck yeah. That's not a definite thing. I love that. You don't necessarily find a gluten free bun everywhere you go. You find it at like 10% of the places, especially when you travel, so that's a good thing. I'm going to have it, what he's having, so the key, the key lime colada. Yeah, please. Thank you. So it's always really nice when, when they've thought of my husband's stomach. It's like they're thinking of me as well. He says yes. It works. I've got the conch fritters, so we will see how this is on camera so if I don't like it I'm bad at, at pretending I do what's the dip? Like, like a chili like a chimchurri chili yeah I think so uh, it's like you can't see the rain behind us but I assure you it's, it's in droves droves of rain We've brought the hurricane slash tropical depression. We brought it with us. Is everything? Are you gonna have depression? Might as well be tropical. Same, you know, better colors, you know, a little pastel, some of that neon Miami stuff. And, uh, a little bit of dancing. A little bit of dancing, you know, like uh, the lament of uh, economic depression in the Caribbean for like you know untold decades.
Man, there's some kicking little waves over here. It'd be a great day to be out on a boogie board. Whoa, what is that? What is that right there? It must be something to do with Noah. Looks like a bizarre scientific experiment off in the distance. It's crazy. and there's a possibility that it's going to be a rainy place, choose a place that has a hot tub. Mm -hmm. You never know when it's going to rain. And we planned at a time that was outside of hurricane season. We planned and, and we're paying attention to the weather up to like freaking minute of us leaving. Everything looked good. And a hurricane literally went, ah! just yeah. kidding. We found out you're going and... and changed its course almost let's call it magically to come and reach us um and so there's there's more rain than we would have anticipated but mm -hmm. we get to enjoy the sound of the rain the hot tub the hot tub some water yeah enjoyable enjoyability so the hurricane etta was uh just hitting nicaragua nicaragua uh when we were um you know leaving and such uh, when we booked the flights we heard that I think it was Hurricane Zeta was the last hurricane of the season right. and they were like alright there won't be any more I mean don't get me wrong there has been this one time in 1908 where it's happened but like it's not going to happen anymore we're good and we're like alright cool so we're cool then this thing got and they are like ah, it's less than a 20% chance that it even hits shore and then they're like, okay, well, it's going to turn into a hurricane. But don't worry, it's just going to hit Nicaragua. Mexico. Yeah, well, and, and Mexico. Mexico. Yeah. And then uh, now they're like, it bounced when it hit Mexico. No one could have seen this coming. But now all the patterns show it coming up to, it's going to reach Miami by the time we have to fly out there. Which means like, you know, as we slowly move our way up north to Miami, it's slowly moving us more north to Miami. The biggest worry that we have is not that it's turned into a tropical depression now, not even a tropical storm. But... It can cause thunderstorms and high winds that could delay or cancel flights, and that just will not do. Though we have our lumps here, and you know, with him we can do anything. I still actually have to do stuff, and Cass got to get back to work. And I do. But the point here was that we're happy that we made the choice to uh, book the extra amenity and to filter for the extra amenity of the of the jacuzzi. Yeah, yeah, so pro tip for you Airbnb hosts out there, get a jacuzzi. Actually, just look for all the little check boxes. People can check boxes and amenities and just get those. They're like, all right, it's, Hair dryer, a, whatever. it's a one room, 400 square foot place, but it has a jacuzzi, a hair dryer, bikes, you know, yeah, you're going you're gonna to be in everything. People are like, yeah, I mean, sure, you got to sleep in the kitchen, but it's got a jacuzzi. <laughs> I don't want to sleep in the kitchen, but, you know, you get it this point. Yeah, so it's been really fun. Uh, yeah, we'll see what the rest of the day brings us, but for now, we're enjoying ourselves. We might actually venture out. We got some umbrellas, so we have the opportunity. 
during that, though, we've given Lucifer the option of staying home or going back out into the rain, and uh, he's already kind of given us his answer. <laughs> oh, yeah, no, his answer is, uh, I'm, I'm y'all go ahead and have fun, I'm gonna I'm chill. Let me know how it goes. Yeah. That's not really boogie boarding material. Yeah, these yeah. ways aren't boogie boarding material at all. These are like, they're not even like, bobbing like, the tape. Oh look, there's a pagoda over there. What do you think? I mean, it's beautiful. I left the car running. <laughs> yeah. I mean, yeah, I mean, it's totally No, there's nothing to bogey board on. There's definitely no waves here in the Keys. Even with a tropical storm, we can't get a wave over here. Yeah. You making it through the water? I thought you had duck feet. You have duck feet. You have duck feet. I don't have duck feet. You have little triangles. If I had duck feet, I could paddle. Yeah, I know. I don't understand why you weren't paddling. <laughs> Listen, these are not the most practical shoes for the rain. Not the most practical shoes for the anything. <laughs> That man is holding a chicken. So that's not one of those people that suddenly they start moving when you no, get up on them, right? Yeah, exactly. I oh, man. That. He is bracelet up. Hey, baby. Oh, oh, God. Oh, baby. I thought I thought that was you. I'm happy there. She's saying that all uh, bronzed guys look alike. I just. Sorry, I couldn't tell. There it is, the southernmost point. We should have brought that little tripod thing. I said that, yeah. I agree. So this is a big brag buoy about being the southernmost point of the US. Although people in Texas like to contest that. Claiming left and right that there's a point of Texas. <laughs> Look at us. We made it. Almost to Cuba. Almost. A little bit further. Cuba, come. Cuba. Come here, come here, come here. Come here. Ah, nothing. What? <laughs> Not nothing. No, 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 I don't want to see it here. I don't want to see it. What? You can stand there. Nothing. This is the only boogie boarding spot in uh, Key West. We've been to all the other beaches and uh, you cannot boogie board anywhere except for this one little spot. What do you want to do now? Go to Cuba? Yeah, I think we're going to go to Cuba next. That's, we've been waiting for them to let us in. 90 miles, I think we could do that in a kayak. I could. No, I could. Here comes the rain again, falling on my face because I'm in Key West, walking here next to the ocean, and it's raining. Hey, baby, walk with me. Let's find mojitos. Hey, maybe we could find a parking payment area. Oh, yeah. Where Near where we drink mojitos. There? Don't copyright strike me. Yeah, there's one. <laughs> <laughs> because I'm, I'm singing a song that goes very similar to one that was made by Annie Lennox, but it's not the same because it goes dun 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 dun. <laughs> yeah, it's different. <laughs> dun 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 Yeah, see? 10%. <laughs> Alright, I see a parking spot. And now, we're at a bar. First 
We're keeping it our distance from other people. Rainy. But it just got real that. runny, and we need to be able to get some drinks. I'm runner. Oh, thank you. Why does this taste like my child? <laughs> Remember during our honeymoon, it rained a lot too. A sign? A sign? I say a sign. No. I was joking. I didn't say it. Now, look. Listen to me. I could be you. <laughs> You never know. What I'm saying is, uh, I love this woman, and I don't regret a thing. However, marriage is a trap. No. <laughs> I'm joking. I'm totally joking. I'm totally joking. I'm, I'm you now. Remember me, you? Yeah. You're saying marriage is a No, it actually goes, marriage. No, it goes, it's a segment. The reason. bar new drinks he's continuing with the key lime and I've uh, I need to stay awake for the rest of the night oh he got the first sip that's how much I love him I have an espresso martini tastes like Applebee's it's good though tastes is that like, yours tastes like vodka I forgot is that oh vodka? you can't have that oh I just poisoned you really good. you just poison yourself At this point in my vacation, I have eaten my weight in maraschino cherries, and I don't know if that's like normal. But why is why are you doing that? Yeah, I've eaten my weight in maraschino cherries. It's raining outside. I've tried to go boogie boarding, but apparently there aren't waves in Key West. No one told me that when I bought my boogie board in Miami after we almost killed a motorcyclist who doesn't have insurance and lied to us about his identity. This is very dramatic. But have you met my life? Let's catch up later. Okay. So this is the southernmost beer. Uh, I'm gonna try it. They say it's like a Corona Light, which I would like to say is more like the southernmost beer and, and better. It's a little more hoppy, but not too much. I like it actually, and I don't like hoppy stuff. It smells like shrimp. Mm -hmm. It doesn't. It smells like yeah, it like the hoppiness like dissipates off your tongue, and I don't like hoppiness. So that's so definitely that's not bad. a filter. I like it. I would order it. All right. All right. I can't lie. I would only order if I was drunk. So this walking in the rain park is not like filmable because it's awkward. It's kind of fun. Lucifer would hate this. We left him back at the Airbnb. Um, he's having a good time. He's already been out and, and uh, had a good time with us. He'd rather be with us, I'm sure, in general. But that, he'd rather be with us 24-7. But uh, we're walking around in the rain. Chris is holding the umbrella above us. Above us? Above us. No. <laughs> above us, it's, it's me and you. It's a little. Oh, umbrella. it's above me. <laughs> and I didn't notice. That's so sweet. I'm closing here. Oh, yeah, be, in, be involved. And we're going back to the car. 
oh, and we are going look, to uh we almost are to the most oh, southern we're back part to of the, the southernmost tip and then we're going to go to dinner tonight oh we are walking through a flood but anyway my point is this is the in-betweens of the uh like hey we've set up the phone and <laughs> everything is normal and whatever like this is the in-betweens the weird like it's hard to film parts you got yeah. time to splash go for it wait wait go for it make it happen <laughs> make it happen girl thank god uh, and uh <laughs> we have these like big old resort towels in our convertible because we're dying of the rain <laughs> that was so good wet. Okay, so this is like day 1.2 slash day 2 slash I don't know what freaking day it is of fake eyelashes that were from, not from TikTok, maybe from Instagram, social media convinced me, I don't know, magnetic. Here's what you need to know. They're on. My husband didn't even notice they existed. They hurt a second ago. They feel fine now. I'm going out to dinner and I have Key West hair. This is kind of all you need to know at this point. Um, do I look any more like, like what is the word? Like, do, am I seducing you? Do you want to like do my bidding? Do you want to give me a boat? No? None of these things? Then what is the point? What did I spend my $50 on? I don't even know at this point. What's different about me since the last two she, seconds ago? Two seconds ago. Kisses? What's different? Because What's different? It, because his mommy kissed him? What's different? Is it a pink lipstick this time? Oh my god, I hate you. <laughs> oh, oh, wait. Hey, look. Wait, it's coming off on the side right there. Wait, you I know it off. is, I know. You just pulled it. Listen, here's the thing about the the eyelashes is it's meant for people who know how to do mag know how to do eyeliner. And I don't know how to do eyeliner. I think they look fine. <laughs> Let's see. Look this way. It's like for drunk people. Oh. Oh. I'm gonna give you a little fix here. I can focus this way. Right, hold still. This side. Let's see. It's got a tip up at the end. It looks like it curls down right there. Huh? Oh, it's on top of your eyelashes. Your eyelashes yeah. are so already so big. No. Perfect. Bat, bat them lashes. And you get some big old eyes. Look at them, like that big. Yeah, there, baby. Enjoying something. Yeah, that's what we're bad about a little bit, but some lobster, some bread, eventually some lobster. I'm gonna enjoy some Chardonnay from Monterey, maybe from Napa. We go so Probably far. The to come so close. Yeah, I go so far to drink uh, wine from our backyard. Very nice, baby. Very nice place I took you out to dinner for. You did. Thank you. I'm just kidding. You're signing the check. <laughs> You're welcome. What can I say except you? are welcome. <coughs> our view is, of course, going to be our future home. Anytime we get an opportunity to have a view of the docks, we'll take that. Here's our fancy smancy dinner. We've got a wedge salad, mm -hmm. which Chris is always a fan of. And some uh Chris is always a fan of the wedge. Of the wedge. And we've got some um clam chowder for me. The bread, which is always for me because Chris cannot have it. Chris will be having the lobster later. And I shall be having what did I get? Oh, a crab. A fancy crab. A little later. King crab. King crab. No, I think I got a different one. You did not get the stone crab. 
Yeah, yeah I did. Very much. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh my goodness. Shall I take a picture of both of you? Yes, that would be lovely. Oh my goodness. Yeah. Yeah. Squeeze over things. It oh, is okay. covered. My baby learned about fancy things like le covered lemons. Covered lemons are confusing. Kind of lemons are uh, this so it doesn't squirt into your eye. This is, big, this is bigger than my actual leg. My actual leg is smaller than this. Yeah? Like, this is like showtime. This is like, what, what are the Christmas ladies? That's a, it's a perfect cat for me and cat. Why don't somebody give us the, hey, you want the catamaran? Can we have it? So we just had a great meal. That was some big old food. I am so full. I can't even tell you like when the next time I'm going to be able to open again for future food. It may not be for a while. Well, I'll tell you what, that was the biggest mug bug i ever seen in my life. It was huge and my crab leg was larger than my leg ever even dreamed of being. Yep, we had big old crabs and big old mud bugs. And now there's no rain suddenly, which is um. <laughs> it's like a blind melon song. <laughs> no rain. Yeah, uh, it was it was a fantastic meal. Our waitress was amazing. Yep. And, um, I don't know. It just shows that you can have fun no matter what and is going on. And social distance. We had an entire a leg How of a you? balcony to ourselves. Yeah. So, and granted, we had to wait until 9:30 in order to make sure that we sure. were all by ourselves. But you know, it's worth it to wait for dinner until 9.30. Waterfront. Just so you can be socially distanced. Yeah, and waterfront though. And waterfront, oh yeah. Okay. And the best seat in the house because yeah. there's nobody else in the house. Yeah. I, we were the last customers in that place. Yeah. But again, totally worth it. Yeah, it was a great time. Yeah. My husband thinks it's a good idea to put the convertible down because it's been like two seconds since it stopped raining. And so we're gonna take advantage, I guess? We can't put the convertible up while driving. So if it starts raining again, yeah. I guess we drown. Yeah. <laughs> That's just going to happen? I got to put my... Uh, That's just okay. going to happen. Yeah, pretty much. Okay. Let's see how this goes. Okay, we made it. And we haven't died. Yeah. Slash, we're not wet. However, it's only by luck. And yes, this man has all the luck. However, I would appreciate it if he had more luck and we had less rain. And if he could work on that, that would be better. Hell yeah, I'll make it, I'll make the rain stop. You know, just like yeah. California, I did it there. What? I could do it here. We have a drought, that's not cool. Yeah, but I didn't like the rain, so I made it stop there. Now I'll make it stop here in Florida. Eventually I'll make it stop raining in America altogether. So we're thinking about trying to uh, like outrun the rain tomorrow. We'll see how that works. We're going to uh, attempt to outrun the rain. Yeah, we're like like the opposite of strippers. We're we're not into the rain. We don't like it to be able to make it. I can stand the rain. Mm -hmm. Yeah, out my window. Yeah. All right. Now we're gonna go back to our puppy and uh, enjoy him. Today we're going to give you a tour of the Airbnb that we're staying at. Welcome to our hotel room.